Hey, it's Mike. Uh, so today, a little bit different format. I'm gonna try to show you something really, really quick. Yeah. So, what is this video about? It is, of course, about workflows, and I'm gonna show you very, very quickly how to add like a new, completely fresh new workflow to a project which already is. Well, it's in progress, so you already use it, and you don't want to mess this up because, unfortunately, you know this this process could be dangerous. So please, 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 please um, test this first on your like a demo project, or on your like me. I have a demo, just actually like a semi production Jira, but if you do not have, of course, sign up for Jira. So I'm going to show you how to do it in like so in just literally in, in, in less than three minutes. So what is the problem? So the problem is, let's say uh, I have the project, which is whatever, it's some, some Kanban with a sample data, whatever, doesn't really matter actually. It could be um, could be Kanban, could be in the Scrum, could be even Service Desk, yeah? So as you can actually see, come on, Jira, show me. Hey, we've got a few tickets, absolutely fine. However, the issue is we have only one workflow. So I would like to add additional workflow. It doesn't matter if it's uh, in my case, it's going to be subtasks, yeah. But in your case, could be epic, could be initiatives, or complete something completely, completely different. It doesn't absolutely matter, yeah. The process is actually actually the same. So we need to navigate, of course, to the project settings. So we are inside the project. Oh, and by the way, uh, it, it needs to be, of course, uh, not the next gen. I still call it next gen. So like they call it team manager thing. So it needs to be with company comp company manager thing. Yep. So that led like, the classic one, the classic one, because I am not even sure if it's possible to do it in, in team manager. Okay. So let's go to projects, navigate very, very quickly to our workflows. Yeah. Workflow. Where are they? Where are their details? Can't see today. Uh, and as you can see, we have only one workflow, which is fine. You know, so now let's add something uh, new and to do that you need to of course create or copy existing workflow So in my case, I've just created this subtask. I call it subtask So please also be aware that when you name it a workflow So and you're gonna use it. It won't be possible to change the name. So so yeah, this end name is highly um, advisable, let's say. Okay, cool. So we have our open done. It's just for presentation purposes, super simple, and it is inactive, which is great. So now let's add this workflow to our project. So as you can see, one project. So what we're going to do, we're not going to, of course, switch scheme. Please do not actually do that, because if you do it, if you're going to do it, that could break your project. So we need to navigate and go for add new workflow, add existing. And of course, I call it subtask. I know subtask is going to be somewhere in the bottom because I had like probably like 500 workflows. And I'm going to select that. So as you can see, it looks good. Yeah, so it's created today because it's nine o'clock. And in this moment, this is a really important, guys. Step. So in this moment, you need to select the right issue type and do finish. And of course, there's one more step. Let me take this aside. Do not, don't forget to publish it, yeah? And it's gonna happen something. So normally, because I already have some subtasks, it's gonna ask me to remap it. Very important step. And that is that, that dangerous step, which I, what I told you. Because obviously if you do it, let's say in a wrong order, you have to probably do it manually, like revert that changes. So I'm gonna, because it's, my, it's, it's demo, so I don't really care too much. And, and let's say I'm gonna basically have open and done, and that's it. I'm gonna associate, yeah. And it's, it is only 19 ticket in my case, which is not too much. It's not too many, actually. And I'm gonna acknowledge. And cool, that's it, yeah. So this is how you add existing, add a new workflow to an existing um, to an existing actually project. And by the way, in the description, if you're looking for tutorials or looking for help, in, in the video description, you can find a link where you can actually download um, like Crash Course, my Jira latest eBooks, or maybe book a call. So please check the description. And of course, you know, you're gonna see right now on your right hand side, a uh, playlist with my other videos. So highly encourage you to watch my other videos. Thank you very much.